All right, hey everybody, as promised, here's the close-ups for the chords in the key of C, and then also that means the relative minor, the key of A minor. All right, first chord we're going to deal with is a C major chord. All right, it looks like this. It sounds like this. All right, so what am I doing here? I'm fretting the third fret on the fifth string, which is your low, the low C of that chord. On the fourth string, I'm fretting the second fret with the middle finger. That's an E. The G is open, that third string. And on the second string, I'm fretting with my index finger at the first uh, fret. And that's making a C. And then, of course, the high E is left open. All right, so if I'm going to play that as an arpeggio, which is single notes, There's your C. All right, so now listen to that the tonalities going on. Now I'm going to jump down here real quick and play that triad. You'll hear there's a lot of similarity, all right, because those are the same notes repeated. All right, now we're going to move on to the second note in the key of C, or not second note, second, second chord. That's D minor, all right. We have an open D on the fourth string. We have the A fretted on the third string, which is done with the middle finger at the second fret. On the second string, you're fretting a D with your ring finger on the third fret. Right, let me get a little better angle. And on that high E, you're fretting an F with your index finger on the first fret. All right. Played uh, independently. All right, you can also throw that high A because it's in there, right? Here's an A. Here's this lower octave. You can add that in, and it's still a D minor. Um, it's not used as often, but if you wanted a bassier, deeper sound, you could strum that out. you're just gonna get all right now moving on to that third chord remember the second and thirds are always minor so we're moving on to another minor E minor all right the sixth string I'm gonna play it open at that fifth string I'm fretting the second fret with my first or with my index finger that is a B the next string I'm gonna fret the second fret with my middle finger that's that octave E. Alright, hear that? Then I'm gonna get the G with the open G, another B, an octave higher, and another E, an octave higher on the second and first strings. Alright, so when you play it, that's a six string chord, and when you play it, it sounds like this. Alright, individually. You're gonna get that. Whoops. Now we're going to move on to the fourth chord. The fourth chord is going to be an F. All right, we talked about F being major. All right, the bar chord version is looking like that. All right, real quickly I'll explain what that is, but don't worry, I got a whole section coming up with bar chords. All right, it takes a little bit of strength, and actually a lot of finger strength here at this first position. So that's why I don't want you to really concern yourself too much right now. I'm just going to show it real quick. All right, you're going to bar all six of those strings with that behind that first fret with that uh, index finger and then you're going to play the ring at the uh, finger placed on the third fret of the fifth string your pinky at the fifth fret of the fourth string and your middle finger at the second fret of the third string and then the B and the E that are played at the first with that bar right so that would ring out All right, but since we're not going to worry about that right now, we can play a partial bar or we could just play the 1 3 5. The 1 3 5 you can get with just these three strings right here. That would be from low to high. You're going to play your F, your root, on the fourth string, third fret. You're going to play 
an A on the third string at the second fret with your middle finger and then you're going to get your C with that index finger on the second on the first fret of the second string so here's your F alright you want to get that high E in there high E string the one string because um, you don't want to play it like this right in most instances because that E is not part of that F right what you would do is you would rock that index finger down and cover both the second and the first string at the first fret giving you another F and you've got this going on this is easier to play than the full bar alright so there's your four chord what's coming up next is the five the five is a G alright there's a couple ways to play G in the open position alright the first one I'm going to show you is using three fingers all right you're gonna put your middle finger at the third fret on the sixth string that's your bass G then you're going to get your B by playing put it placing your index finger at the second fret on the fifth string then you've got open strings all the way down until that high E string in which you're gonna get or you're gonna fret that third fret again that's gonna give you a, a higher octave G all right Alright, you can do that with your pinky too. Some people like to do it that way. Alright. There's other ways to figure this chord if you were going to be moving uh, through um, chords quite quickly. Some people will go ahead and use their middle ring and pinky, leaving this index open so they can jump to another chord. I'll show you that little trick later, but I'm just going to play it right now. Whoops. Alright. Now the other way that I told you that you can play a G is using four fingers. All right, it's still a G. All you're doing is getting uh, uh, um, change, um, substituting the higher octave third for a higher octave fifth. All right. Same thing in the first set of strings. You're going to play that G at the sixth string. You're going to play that B at the fifth string. You got an open D, an open D uh, G. Now you're down to the second string and you're going to make a D with your ring finger at the third fret and then on that first string at the third fret you're playing at E again alright they're both G's alright they just have a, cool, a little bit different tonality but not much alright because they're all still 1-3-5's alright now on to the A minor your sixth and the last one that we're going to deal with in this beginning uh, series of chords. All right, your A minor is going to look like this. And what am I doing? All right, on that fifth string is open. That gives you your bassy root uh, A. On the fourth string, you're playing with your middle finger at the second fret. <laughs> Sorry, right here. That's giving you an E. On the G, you're using your ring finger at that second fret, and you're getting a higher octave A. On the second string, you're playing a C once again with that first fret on the second string. And then you've got the high E string open. All right, you play that individually. Okay, those are your six chords in the key of C. All right, um, just for fun, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a treat I hope in your mind uh, I'm gonna play a few little things that I just show you how uh, the key of C could sound alright not gonna make it very complicated So, there you go. What I, all I was doing was toggling between the root and its relative minor. Um, I hope you uh, are able to learn your the chord shapes for your open chords in the key of C. And I look, to, uh, look forward to uh, teaching you guys in future installments. Bye. Take care. Bye.